I like waking up really early and just having a slow morning. It is nice to be able to just kind of roll out of bed and get ready in, you know, around five to ten minutes. I really like mornings when I'm actually able to wake up in the mornings because I'm really productive when I am able to wake up. The biggest challenge is uh, Eduarda lives right over there behind that piece of art. That's her room and so uh, making sure that I don't talk too loud or play too loud of music. Everyone's life completely changed and now it's hard thinking of how we're gonna go back to like having a full schedule in person classes or in person work. So basically I have two tables. I used to just have one and now I have a higher one just for the computer um, keyboard and sketch and the monitor. And I have another one just for my personal stuff, like my little makeups and my mirror and other stuff. Working in a remote studio is not really my thing because it's just take too much. It takes a lot of effort to just stay focused and to understand people, which is really hard to me. So I set up my studio space in my basement in Chicago. There's not a lot of daylight down there, so it gets really sad sometimes. But it's nice to have a lot of space where I can sprawl out, put my stuff all over the walls and the floor, set up multiple tables. I haven't been able to build as many physical models as I used to, which is really sad for me because I learn a lot by holding it in my hands. But I have been able to use this time to improve my computer skills. If you don't especially have anyone around you who's not working, it's so hard to get into it uh, because you're just like in one space all the time. Uh, balancing kind of is one of the hardest things for me because I think it's super easy to work late or work long hours, uh, especially when you're really into what you're doing. Uh, what I do is kind of try to keep uh, re relatively consistent in my hours, so working from 9 to 5.30 every day as much as I can. <laughs> Balance, work, and free time, that's a good one. This quarter I feel like there's no work-life balance. I literally roll out of bed, take a shower, sit in front of the computer, and just like start working at like 7, 7.30 and go until night. So after that, I'm just tired. I think the remote studio has been rather challenging. There's been uh, less of the social interaction, which was really kind of the rewarding part for me. So I'm trying to kind of make that uh, happen outside of studios, so still connecting with people, whether it's talking about architecture or just life. I get along really well with everyone from my firm, and they're all so nice and so helpful, and like I love them, but I, put, I, I don't know them, you know? All I know yeah. them is like little messages that we send. Definitely mornings and evenings. The mornings. The middle of the night when everything is quiet and there are no emails or messages to answer. The night because I am a night owl. From 8 p.m. onwards, it's time to myself. Work is done until 8 p.m. to midnight. I can do anything I want. It's every day after studio or like every day after work. For my free time, I 
just rug. Like I, uh, like I, you know, have been making lots of rugs. That's honestly my favorite thing to do. Honestly, I think quarantine has allowed me to have so much time for myself. I can actually go do outdoor things and explore new things, do some self-care. I feel like a lot of the time before I was just spent going to classes and then coming back from classes and working on classes. And when then you did have free time, you would just be too drained to do anything fun. For me, school and leisure is in the same place, so it's kind of like I don't really have that barrier between the two. I think I'm most excited to see a concert in person again. I want to travel. I want to see my friends who are graduating in slow. I want to go to Switzerland like I was supposed to. I want to go back to marching band. I, pro I, I just really want to go to a theme park once it's safe to go. I really want to go to different places like Europe. I, was, I always want to go to Japan. I want to go to Taiwan. I want to go to Mexico. I want to go to Canada. Being able to see people again and like gather and just, you know, be with your friends without having to worry, without having to think about COVID, without, you know. Definitely traveling first Europe and then Asia and hopefully all over the world. Oh my gosh, I want to do everything. I want to go to so many places, especially since our fourth year, like we were supposed to all be abroad and doing whatever it was that we wanted to be doing. Like I was supposed to be in Barcelona and you know, we were supposed to be living in San Francisco. I will travel, 100% travel because my second study abroad program was Japan, which got canceled. But then I got into Switzerland, which also got canceled and ah, uh, ooh, and salsa dancing.